Here's what's happening this week in food news. In 2015, we spent almost $3 billion on jerky, according to IRI. What's up? Remember when the days where Slim Jim was just about as sophisticated as jerky got? It's never too Slim Jim! Well now, because of the paleo diet and consumers' desire for more protein, sales of jerky of all kinds are going through the roof. Sales are up over 12%. Compare that to overall supermarket sales that are relatively flat. There are organic, seafood, bison, poultry, game, bohemian garlic, cherry maple, and of course, sriracha jerkies. Jerky as a foodstuff is not new. For thousands of years, according to a report in The Salt, and I quote, human civilizations have cured dried and salted animal muscle. So while it might not be the newest trend, paying upwards of 40 bucks a pound for jerky certainly is. Here at the Lemper Report, we talk a lot about innovation and the influx of Silicon Valley money and intelligence to the food world. Here's another startup you should be watching. Memphis Meats, based in San Francisco, has created the first cultured meatball, simply meaning lab-grown meat from animal cells. According to the company, their process produces 90% less greenhouse gas emissions than conventional agriculture, and according to the corporate taste tester, it's good and tastes like a meatball. Of course it does, but does it taste like your Italian grandmother's meatballs? One issue is the cost. Get this. It runs about $18,000 to produce one pound of Memphis meets beef. Get that black card ready.